I had a request from a student to go through a question on functional skills. So this question appears in the Edexcel June 2014 paper one. It's a C graded question, so it appears in both papers. Um, it appears towards the end of the foundation paper and it appears near the beginning of the higher tier paper. Okay, so let's just see what it says. It says the diagram shows the plan of a small field. Kevin is going to keep some pigs in the field. Each pig needs an area of 36 square meters. Work out the greatest number of pigs Kevin can keep in the field. Right, okay, so with the functional skills question, a lot of them are quite, I mean, this, this one here isn't, you know, as, it's not as worded as, it, as, worded as some of the functional, other functional skills that I've seen in the past. Um, but with, with worded questions, with these type of questions, what you want to do first, well, with all the maths questions, you want to underline or extract the key information. So if you have another read of this questionnaire, the key the key phrase or key statement is this here. So each pig needs an area of 36 square meters. Also functional skills, um, a, a lot of it is to do with area or perimeter. So notice we've got a diagram here. This is a small field and you know, in, in most cases, you're going to have to find the area of the perimeter. So as we've, as we can see here, the key word, one of the key words is area, you should, you know, instantly presume that we're going to have to work out the area. So let's go ahead and work out this area here. Remember this area here is, it's actually, well, the shape is a compound shape and a compound shape is where you have two or more common shapes joined together. And by common shapes, I mean, squares or rectangles and triangles so it's shapes that you're familiar with so if you have a look at this diagram here you can see um, two rectangles joined together okay so to work out <clears throat> to work out the area of a compound shape what you need to do is you need to divide the shape into these common shapes so what you can do is you can split it along this way or you can even split it along this way as well to create two rectangles so what i'm going to do is i'm going to I'll split it along this way. And now we have our two rectangles. So we've got a rectangle here and we have another rectangle here. So all we need to do is we need to work out the area of each and then sum them. Okay, this rectangle here is quite straightforward. Um, we've got the, remember the area of rectangle is just length times width. Uh, the width here is just seven. The length is 10, so you just simply do 10 times seven which you all know is 70. So the area of this is 70 meters squared. Remember when we're talking about area, we think of space inside uh, the shape. Okay, with this rectangle, you've got to be careful because when you do divide up the shape, you will have to adjust the, uh, the measurements because this length here, I mean, what most students do, the, the mistake they make is they think that this is 16 here, 16 meters, but it's not because the whole thing, the whole width here is 16 meters. So this here is clearly not 16 meters. So what you need to do is you need to look around and think, well, you go by the other dimensions to find out what this length is, and this length is here. So if you look over here, this length is seven meters. So if the whole thing is 16, that means this length, this remaining length, must be 16 minus 7, which is just 9 meters. Okay, so the whole thing is 16, and we know from this other shape that from here to here is 7, so that means the rest is, it has to be 9 meters. All right, so that's 9 meters. We have our width, which is 9 meters, the length, which is 6, so again, we multiply the 2, 9 times 6, which equals to 54. So that's 54 meters squared. So again, we just worked out the space within that, within this rectangle here. So what we need to do is we need to add these two together to give us the total area. Okay, so 70 add 54. Um, you should be able to do mentally, if not, you can put it into the column method, but 70 add, I'll just jot it down here, 70 add 54. is equal to 124. So the total area is 124 meters squared. 
Right, okay, so that's the total area. What we know here is that each pig needs an area or a space of 36 square meters. Remember, square meters is the same as meters squared. It's just another way of saying it. So each pig needs an area of 36 meters squared, and we have a total area of 124 meters squared. So what we need to do is we need to divide the two. We need to see how many of those pigs uh, can fit onto this field. So what we need to do is we need to do 124 divided by 36. Okay, so obviously this might be a bit tricky if your you know arithmetic isn't that strong or if your times table isn't that strong, you know, you might find it a bit tricky dividing 36 into 124. So what I'd like to do is when we work with bigger numbers and we're doing a division, what I tend to do is I like to put it into a fraction. Because remember, a fraction is the same thing. I mean, you could you could see this as a little trick. So if you put this in a fraction, so we have 124 on the top and 36 at the bottom, you should really treat it like a fraction. Remember, this means the same thing. You know, 124 divided by 36 is the same as 124 over 36. So remember, that line in a fraction means divide. Okay, when you put it in a fraction form, it gets you to think about simplifying the fraction. So let's simplify this fraction. Because remember, when we simplify a fraction, what we're doing is we're simplifying the division as well. So, okay, simplifying this fraction, as they're both even numbers, what we can do is we can half the two. So 124 over 36, if you half the, the numerator, that gives you 62. And if you half the denominator, that gives you 18. Right, so what we've done is we've actually simplified this division. So that 124 divided by 36 has now become 62 divided by 18. And as they're both even, we can simplify it again. So remember, a quick way to simplify a fraction if they're both, if both even is just to divide it by 2 or half it. So dividing it again by 2. So we have 31 at the top, 62 divided by 2 gives you 31 and 18 divided by 2, which equals 9. So, and I believe that's in its most simplest form. So 124 divided by 36 is the same as doing 31 divided by 9. You see how that division is a lot more simpler? So that's another trick you can keep in mind. Whenever you're doing division, which involves bigger numbers, put it in a fraction first and then simplify it, because what you effectively do is simplify this division. Okay, so 31 divided by 9 is a lot easier to do. Okay, we have, well, how many 9s go into 31? If we go up in our 9 times table, 9, 18, 27. Um, obviously, the next multiple would be 36, and that would be too many. So, we can only fit at most 3, three pigs. That's the most, the, the most number of pigs we can fit onto the field. Obviously, four would be too many because, uh, well, nine fours is more than 31, gives you 36. So um, the most number of pigs we can fit onto this field is just going to be three. So that's your final answer there. So just remember that whenever you are whenever you come, come across this type of question, it, you know, most cases it involves um, area or perimeter. Obviously here it involves area. Also look for the keywords. If it says area, then, you know, you're most likely going to work out the area of the diagram that's given. So we've got a compound shape here. Remember, you have to divide it into those common shapes before you work out the area of each shape, and then you add those two together to give you your total area. And then as each pig needs an area of 36 meters squared, remember that square meters means meters squared, you just divide the two. But obviously, this is a bit tricky to do. Um, you don't want to be working in, 30, in your 36s. So, you know, if you put it as a fraction, um, it just gets you, you, you think of it in a different form, but just remember that it is the same, it's essentially the same thing, because division and fractions are the same, so when you simplify this, you get the same division. So 124 divided by 36 is the same as 31 divided by 9, and obviously that's a lot easier to do, and the answer to that is 3.